it's Kimberly here from Jera Publishing and today I'm going to be talking about the things that you need to know before you have your book cover designed. Um, at Jera Publishing we often have authors come to us for interior book design after they've already had their book cover fully designed. Uh, because they've done that um, and don't didn't fully understand the cover design process they will often have problems with the cover design down the road. So before you begin your book cover design here are some things you need to know. First, who is going to be your book printer? Different printers have different requirements on how that book cover needs to be set up. So you need to choose your book printer first and then let your cover designer know which printer you're going to be using. And next, you need to know what type of binding is going to be used. Will you be doing a paperback, a hardcover, or maybe something different? Um, and the printer you select is going to determine what options are available for you for different binding types. Create Space only offers paperback, whereas Ingram Spark can do uh, um, a hardcover, a case wrap, or saddle stitch, or paperbacks. So make sure you choose a printer, make sure you choose the, the binding with them uh, before you have your cover designed. Um, and next, and this is pretty important, is you need to know what trim size your book is going to be. Will it be six by nine, a five by eight, five and a half by eight and a half, or some other size? Um, check with your book's printer to see what sizes they offer and which one you want your book to be. Um, and then make sure you pass it on to your designer so it is set up correctly. Next, you need to know what the final page count of your formatted book is before you can have that full cover design spread with the front, the back, and the spine and that is because of the spine. Uh, the, the longer the book is, the more page counts it, it has, the wider your spine width needs to be on your cover layout. So you need to have that final uh, design uh, copy approved and send that uh, page count off to your book cover designer so they can set the spine width correctly. Now you should be able to have that front cover designed ahead of time so you can use it for marketing but hold off on having that full design spread done so the spine can be done correctly. Um, next, in relationship to that spine width again, you also need to choose that which paper stock you're going to be using. White paper stock uh, is thicker, so will require a, a wider spine, uh, where cream is not, uh, excuse me, white is thinner, whereas cream is thicker. So choose the type of paper stock you're going to be using and let your book uh, printer, I mean your book, cover designer know that. Um, novels are often done in an off-white uh, cream paper stock where uh, non-fiction technical types of books that have uh, images or charts or tables are often done in white for that crisp contrast. And also you need to make sure your cover designer is familiar with the requirements of doing a book cover design. So in addition to having great design skills, they need to know the technical side of it and what the requirements are uh, by the book printer. Uh, the CMY color mode, bleeds, uh, color saturation, resolutions. They need to know all of that stuff. So check with them to see if they've done book covers for say Create Space or Ingram Spark before. If not, you can get those uh, requirements from the printer and send it to them so they can become familiar with that before they start working on the cover. And if you need to find a book cover designer, well, uh, give us a call at 770-642-6400. Uh, we would be glad to help you with your book cover design. Uh, you can visit us online at jarapublishing.com and you can view our portfolio of cover designs that we have done for authors. So until next time, take care.